It's the 50th anniversary of the creation of the North Carolina Community College System. And we continue to observe that milestone with our series on each of the colleges. All of them bolster their local communities with workforce development and curriculum courses that help students prepare for transfer to four-year schools. Some of them, like tonight's featured institution located in the town of Troy, offer programs not often found in other places. Rick Sullivan explains. Montgomery Community College, serving about 4,000 students combined in curriculum and continuing education classes. The pretty campus is home to some of the state's most unique and desirable programs, offerings you won't find in most other schools. Our niche programs include our pottery, our two-year taxidermy program, a two-year forestry program, and a two-year gunsmithing program. And we are fortunate that we attract people particularly for the niche programs, one in particular from across the nation. I think that the reason Montgomery Community College has been successful is because we have provided programming that is unusual in some people's definition. Where can you go to get a two-year degree in taxidermy? The answer would be just a short walk from Dr. Kirk's office on the MCC campus. It is an art form. Uh, uh, the only difference is our canvas is hide and, and pelt, uh, antler, whatever. Um, I have a lot, I don't believe in trophies. I believe in representing the spirit of the animal and the hunter that took this animal. And uh, so we do a lot of things to artistically bring out the spirit of the critter. Billy Adams learned the art of taxidermy at Montgomery Community College. He supplemented his income as a high school teacher with taxidermy. Now he teaches the skill full time. Graduates of the program work in studios and museums around the country. Adams says today's taxidermist uses anatomy, chemistry, physics, and cosmetology to make the animal hide over artificial form come alive. All these animals are going to have a polyethylene body in them, whether it's a, a fowl, uh, the turkey body is polyethylene, the raccoon bodies, the deer bodies. There's a polyethylene body. We've gone away from the stuffing. In the old days, you actually stuffed a hide full of uh, material. There is a form for almost any position. What we taxidermy, what we do, we, taxidermy in, from the Latin is the movement of, of skin, taxidermy. And so we, we take our hides, we tan our hides, we change them into leather. Whether it's a duck, it's duck leather. If it's a fish, it's fish leather. If it's a mammal, it's mammal leather. And then we mount them onto these polyethylene forms. Taxidermy is an old art form and trade, but not nearly as old as the land that surrounds Montgomery Community College. The school is tucked in next to Uhari National Forest, and it has a 100-acre woods of its own. It's been an invaluable resource. It's one of the great treasures of Montgomery Community College uh, forestry program because I can be in the classroom talking about theory, and five minutes later I can say, well, let's go out and try this, you know, put it into practice. These forestry students are clearing part of the college's biophilia trail, which runs through the campus forest. The term biophilia means love of life forms. It's designed to encourage people to get outside and enjoy nature's therapeutic effects. Recreation is just one part of the forestry program, which is deeply rooted in Montgomery County. It's one of the most heavily forested counties in the state. There's a waiting list to get into this program. Students learn plant science, soils, and applied math in addition to forestry. So career opportunities are as wide as the forest itself. A great deal of my courses are practical application, exercises. Now, I might be in the classroom, they might be outside, but, uh, you know, it's a, it's a combination of book learning and doing. Pottery is another program that combines book learning and doing. The coursework is a blend of two nearby pottery traditions, Catawba, which is more utilitarian, and Sigro, which leans toward the studio. A good example of that blend is the ceramic totem pole, which stands in front of the headquarters of the program. You know, we try to make good functional pieces, but we also try to make them a little bit different as well, which is sort of like the studio potter. Uh -huh. But uh, it's basically still mostly utilitarian wear. Perhaps the most unique and certainly the most nationally acclaimed offering of the college is gunsmithing. It's building a gun, refurbishing guns, and restoration of guns. And in this neck of the woods, it is a thriving industry. There's a two-year waiting list for this program. 
Students learn to build rifles, shotguns, and handguns. So what does that do? You, you put oil on it to keep it from... The oil prevents the chips from basically scratching the surface. Uh-huh. You can further scratch it more than you really need it to. I gotcha. Graduates find jobs with gun shops and manufacturers, law enforcement, and the military. Neil Clausen is converting a 12-gauge shotgun into a double rifle, which fires four-inch long shells and is used to hunt big game. A lot of the things that you do on this rifle is not things that you can just pick, off, pick up off the shelf. Uh, a lot of the parts, a lot of the things that I'm putting in here is actually made just for this rifle. The college offers a wide variety of programs that can be found at other community college campuses. But locally focused niche programs make Montgomery Community College unlike any other school in the state. This school is one of the most important things that happens in this county. It is so pervasive within the very fabric of the county because it is of the county. It is from the county. It is the people's school. It is here for them, because of them, supported by them. Be sure to join us next Thursday night on North Carolina Now when Rick Sullivan visits the campus, the campus of Halifax Community College in Weldon.